行ってみよう Alright, yo, what is good? Johan here to bring my reaction for this month's Mythic Banner. I'll be honest, I didn't even, even know the trailer was tonight so soon. Uh, still have a, we're like a full week out before July ends, so. Uh, a bit earlier than I expected, but um, it is what it is. Um, I also haven't been really keeping track of who's supposed to be next, but uh, I'm willing to bet it's one of the OCs, correct? Uh, it would make more sense. It would make the most sense to have one of the uh, book eight OCs here. So that's what I'm gonna assume. Whether it be uh, the deer guy or the the new the healing girl we just got. I forgot what animal she was supposed to be based on. Uh, but yeah, let's just dive right into it. And I already forgot their names because they're pretty hard to pronounce if I remember correctly. Uh, except Fe Seven. Fe Seven. Black Fang theme. Mythic. Athos? <laughs> that wouldn't make sense to have this song with Athos. Huh. Let's find out. Oh, okay, it is her. My name is Wait, Hathor. why is this song playing? <laughs> Once known as the nectar of the healing hands. Okay, it is Hathor. Uh, Hi, oh my goodness, that, that freaking sprite, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, she is an anima, res mythic, green beast infantry. Okay, infantry, huh? Alright. Nectar horn, stronghold, we have a... Okay, divine nectar, we have an upgrade to fortress skills. Another one. Though, so, defres four. Uh, fortress defres four? Is it three or four? Um... Uh, was that Breath of Life 4 basically I just saw? Oh no. Onward. Yes. Oh wait, yeah, it's Mythic. I, we can just check it right now, sorry. Um. Alright. Nectarhorn. Uh, slaying. That's our by the phase. If any foes with a three was a two column center on unit has less threads, less threads than units threads plus five. Inflakes. Attack, defense, debuffs, discord, deep wounds, and a penalty that neutralizes non-specials. Okay, and neutralizes... A penalty that neutralizes Miracle. Okay, that's pretty significant. Um, just having a super big ploy version of Fatal Smoke 4, essentially. Um, and... Da, 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 da. If... Foe initiates combat, yada yada yada. Stat penalty. Yeah, typical stat stuff. Uh, flat damage reduction based on 20% of res. Uh, low attack defense. And breath effect, because, you know, nowadays you just gotta have something of everything, right? Just a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, and beast transformation stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's really good for defense mythic. That's a good kit. Uh, dealing with those annoying miracle tanks is kind of important and just spreading deep wounds as well is also quite important so considering omni tanks have been coming back on the rise so uh good stuff good stuff uh aegis and stronghold inflicts attack minus three and death res plus seven okay so slightly better than double fort and also at star player phase neutralizes or enemy phase neutralizes panic and, okay, it's kind of like the Verge of Death and its equivalents, right? So, alright, pretty solid. Uh, a nice upgrade, but again, nothing like you absolutely need to get if you um, already have Fortress Defense Res, uh, the old one. Because it's only a one stat difference for the Death Res. And while the Neutralized Panic part and Penalty part is nice, it's definitely nice. It's not like you gotta have it or anything. Uh, there are other ways to deal with that stuff, so. Alright, let's take a look at the C skill. She's got Bulwark too. Divine Nectar. It looks like they had Breath of Life 4 into it, but let's see. As sort of player phase or any phase, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, it grants Divine Nectar to unit and allies within two spaces for one turn. I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead. Divine ne Nectar is neutralized deep wounds. Okay. Uh, restores 20 HP to unit as the unit's combat begins. Alright, there's the Breath of Life 4 part, but it's a flat 20 HP. Um, and if it is unit's first combat initiated by foe, or 
first combat initiated by unit that turn reduces them reduces damage from foes attacks by 10 during combat excluding aoe so flat 10 damage reduction that's very 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 nice um and how big is the oh so for some reason i thought that was divine vein but <laughs> i saw divine but it's actually just the bonus status yeah that's really really good that flat damage reduction and that's gonna stack with other flat damage reduction too so that's pretty insane that's pretty insane unfortunately you can't really use her on offense um but still in other modes that's gonna be fantastic for your army tanks make ike even tankier because why not right uh if a rally or movement assist skill is used by any ally with the divine nectar effect active grants another action to that ally <laughs> What? Ain't no way. That's crazy. That's actually insane. It gives divine. She gives divine nectar to every ally within two spaces. So everyone is just gonna be reacting. And this is, on defense, that's a nightmare. You have rally trap into rally trap into rally trap into etc. Right? I'm not I'm not crazy, right? If a rally or movement skill, movement assist skill is used by an ally with the divine nectar effect active, excluding unit, excluding herself. Okay. Grants another action to that ally once per turn. If another effect that grants action to unit has been activated at the same time. This effect is also considered to have been triggered. Okay, so it doesn't stack with, uh, like, change fate. That makes sense. Or, like, you don't get them one after another. Like, like you would with, like, Gale Force and Raging Storm. Instead, it would activate both change fate and Divine Nectar, so you can't use them back to back. Alright, that makes sense. That better have been the case, because honestly. Uh, yeah, that's still absolutely game-breakingly insane. That's ridiculous. Uh, on top of that, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, inflicts attack defense minus five on foe and inflicts guard on foe per com attack during combat. Uh, yeah, that's just for her own purposes. Um, wow. That's crazy. That, ugh, this game is getting so, so ridiculous. Like, just the, the, just the divide, just the healing part and the... Flat damage reduction part, that's perfectly insane as it is. That's incredibly strong. But we gotta add this insane <laughs> act again part to make what is going on with Fire Emblem Heroes, y'all. This is not okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude. What is this game gonna be in like two years? Like I can't I don't even want to think about it. Or even just next year. It's crazy. Alright, and then she's gonna get rallied or something. Okay, she's gonna attack. Get repositioned here. Okay, they don't show it off. Oh, there's another one. Okay, they're both here. I didn't even realize. Is the first weapon. <laughs> okay, I don't. I forget how to pronounce the name. Okay, he's an astromythic defense, colorless beast cav. Okay, so he's not an infantry, unlike his sister. All right, quieting antler enables Kano two slaying. At start of turn, if you lose with two spaces of an ally, grants attack defense plus six and bonus doubler. Just give bonus doubler to everyone. All right, sure, why not? Make it super easy. Because <laughs> rip legendary Eliwood, right? <laughs> um, not necessarily rip Mirabilis, though, because Mirabilis gives it on dance, which guarantees that the ploy effect will be off on that unit because they have already acted. So in that sense, Mirabilis is still useful. Um... This sharing was a bonus cell very susceptible to ploy for, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, if units within two spaces of allies, and if unit allies within two spaces of unit have bonuses to all their stats, after start of turn, start of turn skills trigger, 
Grants an additional plus three to each corresponding stat for unit and those allies for one turn. So we are finally breaking. I'm assuming this is not in combat. We're finally breaking the plus seven buff uh, limits. I don't think we ever saw plus eight, did we? I don't think, for blue buffs. I'm pretty sure we've been at seven for a while now. Uh, there might be an eight somewhere. I don't think so though. Uh, but now we're hitting 10. It's honestly, I'm surprised it took this long to get blue buffs to go this high, but uh, makes sense when they release bonus stubber. But now we have, you know, bonus stubber stonks going crazy. Of course, ploy stonks also going up now because of this. Um, but yeah, just a lot of stats. Just so many stats. Uh, if you initiates combat, yada yada yada. Penalty attack defense equals yada yada. Typical stuff. He gets true damage. Um, Instead of flat damage reduction, unless reduces damage from foes attacks by 50% of X. What is X? X equals highest total uh, bonuses among unit. Okay, he does have flat damage reduction. Uh, based on total bonuses, but with allies around him. Uh, and the typical... Oh, wait, is this different? No, 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 it's not the same. Typical calf uh, transformation thing. So, yeah, it's crazy. It's really strong, but there is counterplay to it. So it's not not it's not crazy so far. We'll have to see what he has after this. Uh, Fierce Beast, new special: boost damage by X percent of units attack when special triggers. If transformed, X equals twenty-five. Otherwise, X equals twenty. Okay. Uh, if special triggers, DR piercing. Okay, this is definitely inheritable. Finally. <laughs> And it's only a two cooldown special. That's really nice, actually. So we finally have a way to pierce DR um, on beasts. Beasts are finally getting something. Um, yeah, hopefully they get... Well, I mean... They're not going to have special base damage reduction through this, so... That's kind of a catch, but... This is still great to have. Alright, and what else do we got here? I'm just going to scroll here. Alright, attack defense XL is here. Nice. Alright, Divine Strength removes the condition to transform. After start of turn effects trigger on player phase or any phase, neutralizes any penalty on unit. That's very good. <laughs> very, very good. Um, inflicts attack defense minus 5 on foe, and unit makes a guarantee fall protect during combat, and heals 7 HP after combat. Sure. Uh, unfortunate for Gale Force, but sure. Um, if units. Attack at start of combat is greater than, foes, greater than or equal to foes. Attack at start of combat, minus 5. Inflicts additional attack defense, minus 6 on foe during combat. And if units defense is yada yada, same condition. Inflicts attack defense, minus 6 on foe during So just stacking crazy debuffs, right? So you're getting like a 20 stat swing, assuming, you know, your blue buffs are not mingled with. That's 10, and then additional 10 from the bonus doubler, assuming you're employed as well. You're getting attack defense minus 12 on the foe, probably. Uh, sorry, 17, I should say. There's the actual... Um, there's the regular... Yeah, attack defense minus 5 there. So that's a 27... No, sorry. That's a 37 attack defense swing. <laughs> uh, right there. And then you also have to consider the penalty here. 37 and then 43 and then additional 20% of units defense at start of combat <laughs> That's like about over 50 attack defense debuff. So this is like a tune Mikaya levels of debuffing attack and defense This is basically a tune Mikaya levels uh, That she does on attack res uh, And then there's attack defense excel on top of all that uh, So this guy's gonna be pretty tough to take down uh, And beast threaten of course Uh, yeah, I was just trying to remember what that did real quick. Has some special jumping, so that's really good for him. He just gets his special ready immediately. Um, yeah, he's stat ball of a unit. He is definitely a tank, as his <laughs> appearance suggests. So we see Freyer having attack 20, minus 26 and defense minus 22. 
That's a lot on Freyr, considering he gets a lot of attack defense on his own. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, save me for Flamorius. Always ready. This guy's gonna be kind of crazy. All right, that's that. Uh, you should know who most of these are. I don't recall if there was a slot open. Oh, okay, there's a two, there's a Mozu, there's a two Nazura. Okay, those are the two that we didn't know about. All right, let's take a look here. So, Colorless has, I, I don't want to pronounce his name, um, Loki and Alir. That's pretty good. That's quite nice. And we have, I can't, I can't remember any of them, I'm sorry. Uh, the other one, she is with, uh, she's green, she is with Camilla and a two Azura. Uh, not quite as good as a share, but still really good. Um, getting a two Azura is pretty good for fodder factory reasons. The Wings of Mercy 4, or sorry, Wings of Mercy Echo isn't the best Echo skill out there, but it's still really nice for, you know, your Gale Force strats and whatnot. Um, Camilla's fodder is just okay, but her as a unit, she's still pretty good. Um being able to give out the piercing effect so yeah i think colorless is the big winner here though uh probably most definitely avoid blue and red has alencia but nana right now is a dud until she gets her remix uh, she's probably pretty good when she gets her remix though and kvass here is also not the best she has okay fodder though uh yeah all right cool we got a double mythic banner i uh, didn't expect that anything else nope okay all right, that's dope. Um, uh, for me, I don't have orbs right now, so uh, I cannot pull even if I wanted to. I'll free pull. I'll go for the free pull on colorless, probably. I, uh, well, maybe green. Maybe just on the first circle, I'll do all the colorless and green. I think I'll do that. Or maybe I'll get lucky. But uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm in saving mode. Um, the wallpaper we got, we got the pirate ship wallpaper kind of suggests we potentially might get the, another rerun of the or we may get another seasonal pirate banner um next month but we will see uh if it is pirate mia's on the table i'm just putting it out there i feel like mia's on the table <laughs> but uh i won't be ready orbs wise but you know if it happens it happens but anyway that'll do it for me guys uh how do you feel about the banner i think it's insane power creep i think uh her in particular, I mean, he's really insanely strong as a tank and, you know, but her giving all those extra actions on top of all that crazy support from the divine, what's it called? That's, that's just up to, out of this world insane. So we'll, we'll have to see how the meta shakes, though, to be honest, I've been kind of stepping out of the meta <laughs> uh, over the past few months. So it is what it is. But anyway. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. If you enjoy my content, I'll, um, you know, keep this train going as long as I can. Uh, even though the game is insane right now and it's hard to keep up and the meta is not very fun anymore, um, it is still Fire Emblem at the end of the day. So, you know, I'll keep doing what I do. So, have a good one, guys. Peace.